Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the new library that is nothing but the React Redux. And what is this library and why we need to use this library in the React.js applications? Let's, let's try to see. So if you go here into this one, if I open this one, yeah. So what is this React Redux? Previously in the videos, we have seen how to implement the Redux application in the functional components and also the class components we have seen. So then, so we are successfully able to implement the Redux in the React.js applications. So then what is the use of this React Redux library? So, so here they will be writing that, they will be telling that React Redux is an official React binding for the Redux. So this is the official React binding for the Redux. It lets your React components read data from a Redux store. So that means how we will be reading the data from the Redux store, we are using store.getState. So same the same scenario, it will let your React components, so okay will let your react components read data from the redux store and dispatch actions to the store to update data so that is that is what the redux redux library will do and here react redux what it will do it will it will help us to get the data from the store and also the to dispatch the actions to the store to update the data so it the react redux will help us to do then you will getting a doubt that by using this Redux standalone library only, we are able to get the data and we are able to read the data and also we are able to update, right, using the dispatch thing. So then what is the special using this React Redux? We can think. So let's try to see. So here if you see, why use React Redux? Redux itself is a standalone library. Yeah, so the Redux itself is a library that can be used with any UI layer or framework. Yes, the React Redux application, so the Redux standalone library, we can use it for any UI layer of framework, including React, Angular, Vue, Ember, Vanilla JS, Vanilla JS also we have implemented. So using any of these UI frameworks, we have we can use this Redux as a library. Although Redux and React are commonly used together, so commonly used is with the React with the React is the Redux. So for Angular we are using ngRx, for Vue we are using Vuex. Like this we will be using right. So for Re for React we are using the Redux. Commonly they are independent of each other. So all so commonly if you see in the outside so with the react application if you want to implement a state management means we will be using the redux only but we are using the redux means that is that react is not tightly coupled with the redux redux is a separate independent to each other they both are independent to each other so react redux is the official redux ui binding library for the react so react redux is the library which is the official library for the react if you are using redux and react together you should also use react redux to bind these two libraries so if you are using the redux and react separately in your application then you need to use the react redux library to bind these two libraries together okay you hope you understood this one so react redux so helps us to bind these two libraries in the react application so redux with ui actually normally what we will be doing with the redux we will create a store we will subscribe to the updates. Subscribe means uh, dot subscribe store dot subscribe. We will do so inside subscription. What we will do? We will get the current store state by using the get state, and we will extract the data. So whatever the data is needed from the for the UI, we will get, get the data from the store, and we will update the UI with the data, and respond to the UI with for the dispatch. So we can dispatch the actions in the component according to this one. This is the over and out layer of how we will be implementing in the Redux. So these things we have implemented in the previous video. So now. When it is while it is possible to write this logic by hand, okay, so this this all logic we can do it by hand. Doing so would become very repetitive. So by implementing that standalone Redux library, how we have implemented previously in the videos, that code will become more repetitive. In addition, optimizing UI, UI performance would require complicated logic. So optimizing the UI, UI optimizing UI performance would require complement co complicated logic. It seems. So if we are implementing Redux as a standalone library. So doing all those things so optimization and all those things will become complicated the process of subscribing to the store checking for updated data and triggering a re-render can be made more generic and reusable so whatever the process we are subscribing to the store checking for updated data and these are all the things we can make it more generic and reusable with the react redux a ui binding library like react redux handles the store interaction logic so you don't have to write that code yourself so the react redux will take the pain of this one so whatever the store we are handling the logic so dispatching an action getting the state from the data uh, from the store these are all the things react redux will handle in a nicer way so that we can so so that there is no need to write the code repetitively 
for uh, yourself so now reasons to use this react redux so what are the reasons to use this react redux so the main reasons is first one is that it is an official redux ui bindings for the react so that means it is an official redux uh, it is an official redux ui binding so for react they have implemented redux has has redux has given the official implementation so this react redux is developed development development is done by the redux team itself it encourages good react architecture so the main thing is it encourages to implement the good react architecture and another one is that it implements performance optimization for you so the most important is so it implements the performance optimization so performance optimization is implemented we are using this react redux and also it has a good community support so these are the four things which we which, which which are the reasons to use the react redux instead of using the redux standalone library itself and redux uh, react redux installation so how the react redux installation will be so we will normally how we will be using npm install redux in the same scenario we will be using npm install react hyphen redux or if you are using yarn means yarn add react redux we can use it how the first the initialization of the react redux how it will be react redux provides provider tag okay provider element will be component will be having which makes the redux store available to the rest of your app okay so now at the app.js so if this is the app.js at the top you will be mentioning the provider and you will be giving the store here so whatever the store we are having so we will be mentioning the store here so that automatically so every place we cannot we will be not able to import these all the things so automatically here we will be able to get so for the app so in the in the parent we will be giving provider component and we will be sending as a props store store data which is created using the store dot create store sorry create store redux dot create store so now this is the provider so first we need to implement this provider so for the parent uh, for the root of the application next react redux provides a connect function so another one is the react redux provides a connect function for you to connect your component to the store so you will be having a connect function for you to connect your component to the store so this is how normally we will be using so we will be using the connect function to connect your component to the store so how how, how the connect will be let's see so here you will be able to see this is the uh, example let's think this is an component and here you will be having a variable map state to props so this is this is generally normally the variable variable name so if you want you can keep whatever name you want and here what we will be doing so this is a function which takes the state and own props we will discuss the props and here you will be written uh, and here you will be written the object which whatever the data consisting in the store you will be written the date uh, store, state data and here you are having the map dispatch to prop props so whatever the action creators responsible for that component you will be using this increment decrement reset these are all the action creators which are responsible you will be using for this one and here export default uh, and connect so when we are uh, using this export default counter component we will be using export default connect and we will be sending the map state to props and map dispatch to props and the return of the function we are sending it to the counter okay so this is the general implementation of the connect let's try to see it in the uh, what we can say in the practical implementation just uh, you need to understand this connect we are using so these are the things what we will be using in the react redux so you two think two things you need to remember that provider first you need to implement the provider for the root of the application and next for every component so which is uh, which needs the comp which needs the store for every component you will be having map state to props map dispatch to props these two variables we will be declaring so whatever the actions that are necessary for that component you will be adding this one to map dispatch to props and whatever the state data you want you can send it to the map state to props and you will be sending it to the connect like this like a higher order function and these things we can be used as a props in that component so let's try to see it in the practical implementation in the next video so this is the react redux so now, now coming on we will be implementing this react redux library only in our react application and another one is there that another library redux redux toolkit library will be there so that one also we'll try to see if we have a time so first this is the concept how we will be implementing so react redux in the react js application if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you